In this first chapter of this module, we will introduce uh, what location-enabled digital government is about. We will do that mainly by having a look at location-enabled life events and services in the sense of life events and services that can uh, be supported or that can be enabled, that can be improved by taking advantage of location data and location uh, technologies. One of these events we've introduced in the second or in the first module of this course about uh, also the example of Anna, it's about moving to a new house where you as a citizen in fact need to go through different uh, st steps or you are dependent or you need to uh, rely on several services. These services include obtaining information on, on what's in the environment, on the local facilities, obtaining some permits allowing you to move, uh, registration of your new address in the municipality register, the notification of uh, other orga organizations about your new address, but also sending out notifications to the post and utility uh, services, and then finally signing out at your old municipalities. So these are a series of steps that most all citizens in Europe have to go through when they plan to a new house within their own country or even to a new house in another country. Now let's explain a bit how location data technologies can support these citizens, uh, but also businesses when going through each of these steps. First about obtaining uh, information on loca local facilities. Here we already see the added value of location data in the sense that it can allow to make, this av make available information on different types of facilities through one platform in a way it's easily to understand, easily to check uh, by your citizens information on schools, healthcare facilities, but also parks and re recreations into a particular areas. All this information can be integrated into one application, making it really easy uh, for a citizen to really understand what are the facilities available in a particular area and to what extent this area is interesting for me uh, to live in because it provides uh, easily access to all the services, all the facilities I have. Just one example. Second example is about obtaining permissions for moving or for, uh, for doing things related to moving. For instance, for occupying the re road, if you want to have a, a lift that puts your, all your stuff or you want to uh, put a truck with all your stuff to your new house, you might or probably you will temporarily occupy the road. Then it's important for you as a citizens to know, uh, am, I, am I allowed to do this? What is the procedure to make sure that I can have a permit to do that, et cetera. Also here we see that applications exist, making use of location data, making use of location technologies for really supporting citizens in getting this information on whether or not they are uh, allowed to do that, but also to initiating or to initiating the application for the permit to make sure that in the end, the public service, uh, the public authority will provide them with a the permit to do that on a very, on a very short notice. Also here, one example where we already see uh, the added value of location data. Now, also another type of permission is about the, the building permission. Imagine if you want to do some very small or even larger reconstruction works to your new house, then there's a question again, am I allowed to do that? And if so, what is the procedure to make sure that I can uh, get this uh, permit? Also here, we see that location data can streamline not only the provision of the information on whether or not you're uh, allowed to do this, also the provision of information on what should I do, what kind of information should I provide to the government, but also to actually uh, completing this transaction to make sure that in the end, after a few days or weeks, you will receive the, the, building, the, the building permission you need uh, when you would like to do some small grid construction works. Now, if you look at the other steps, we, heal, we see here it's a lot about sharing, sharing, uh, providing and management, managing address data, which is also something where location data, location data, the location technologies could be very helpful in, in the sense that they allow the different public authorities, different organizations uh, make sure of make use of the same information and of the same information that is also correct, avoiding that as a citizen, you need to provide this information multiple times. So also here we see the added value of location data. Just some examples uh, with regard to the situation of moving to a new house and the services that you need uh, when you plan to do this. We see that location data, location technologies can support uh, this live event in many different ways. Uh, the way we presented it before, we presented this as all in uh, separate services. Now in module one, we already introduced the idea of integrated services. And that's in fact what the citizen is looking for 
when he plans to move to a new house, it would be very, very easy for him if that would only be considered as one integrated service where all the different authorities uh, involved in these processes, involved in providing these services would work together, would make use of the same information in, in the sense that if a citizen plans to move to a new house, it will be automatically, uh, uh, should I say it, that the transactions related to these uh, services will be integrated and will be automatically completed by each of these public administrations involved in this process. Now, that's just one of the uh, many life events of moving to a house. It's just one of the many life events we've introduced before. It's about moving, but we see that we've uh, introduced many other uh, location-enabled life events or situations that citizens, most citizens, most businesses at a certain stage in their uh, life are confronted with and for which they will uh, they rely on public services and digital public services if possible. Let us have a closer look at some of the other live events to show you the added value of location data. Imagine that you would like to start up a new company. One of the questions uh, you asked yourself is, what is now the best place or the best location for me to establish this new company? Where are the customers uh, uh, located that, are, that will benefit from the product services I need? Where can I find good people uh, working for me? What are the places where there are some office space available? All this information, again, it's all about where questions we've introduced in module two. And we see that here, the use of location data can be very helpful for those people looking for a location uh, for their new uh, business to be established. Another example is about the daughter or the father or the parents that want to register or that want to find a school for their, uh, for their children. And they want to know where are the primary or even secondary schools close in my area. Also here we see that location data can be helpful in, 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 in providing, also, uh, providing information on this that parents can use to really find the, the best, the most appropriate schools uh, close, to their, close to the place where they're living. So also here, a very uh, a question all of us or most of us have been confronted with at a certain stage in our life. And we see that location data can make it very helpful to providing uh, the answer to this question, to providing this service. Then a final, uh, final example is about when you are looking for a new job. Uh, it's possible, it's good that you have an overview of the different opportunities available, uh, opportunities that are um, uh, fitting or matching with your uh, expertise, with your interests, but also opportunities that are for you that are uh, close to close to you where you are living, where it doesn't take you a lot of time to get there. So the question: How long would it take me to uh, commute to the office of this new job? That's a very relevant question. And also here we see that location data can be very helpful to uh, provide the answer to this question and to provide this service that, and that the person looking for a new job is looking for. So we talked a lot about location enabled public services so far, uh, services related to the key life events of services. And we see in fact that location data, location technologies can be helpful in three main ways. First, they can help in providing information making available information to citizens and businesses. Second, location data can also be used as a tool, allowing citizen services to provide information or to contact their public administration. And finally, uh, and the most uh, advanced level of uh, digital services about actually completing transactions, where we see that location data can support the handling of requests and applications in many different fields. Let us just have a look at some other fields, some other events, some other services, which we've, some of which we've already discussed in other modules. So it's not only about location data technologies supporting the key uh, life events or services related to key life events. No, also in other, many other fields of application, we see the added value of location, of location data, of location technologies. Emergency responses, air quality, health services, energy transactions, all key issues, all key events, all key areas where where businesses, citizens, and other governments are really are looking for information, are providing information, and are, wa are wanting to see some transactions uh, completed. Now, finally, it's also important, also interesting to already look at the future to see how new, more emerging technologies could uh, play, a, play an interesting role here to supporting the delivery of new services or to supporting the delivery of, of already existing services in a more efficient and effective way. So here on this slide, we show you four examples of technologies and how they are used in the provision of particular services. 
drones in the, in the domain of healthcare, augmented reality for managing the underground, digital twins for uh, the simulation and management of crowds, and geo-artificial intelligence for detecting shipwrecks. Just some very diverse examples, uh, one of the many different examples that are, exist that show that location data, location uh, technologies could be extremely value for providing services uh, by government now, but especially in the future. And this uh, brings us to our final slide in which slide, which we would like to summarize the key uh, conclusions or the key messages of this first chapter chapter where we first showed how location data and technologies can support many services first services related to the key life events of citizen businesses, but also uh, other existing and new services in other, in other domains uh, which can uh, strongly take advantage of location data and location technology 